in this video we are going to find the area of this shaded region the problem is uh, given to us in this way the shaded region in the diagram is formed by three mutually tangent circles of radius two units find its area so these are the three triangles that are mutually tangent that is one circle is touching the other two circles at one and only one point that is the point of contact we have here this is one point this is the other point of contact for the first circle and the second circle is touching the first and third in the same way at one point and the third circle is there so those three circles are mutually tangent to each other and uh, in that process they formed a space here and uh, our task is to find the area of this particular region and uh, the maximum time allowed is two minutes so if you want you can take uh, pause the video here and uh, try to find the answer or come up with a plan and uh, after a minute or so you can just start playing it and uh, look for the solution remember the radius of the circle is uh, two units in this case okay now in order to find the area of uh, uh, this region i think the best way is for me to connect the centers of the circles connect them okay this is one make sure that like because of the tangency and and we know the property here that that centers of the two circles and the point of contact they all will lie in the same straight line so it is already known and uh, i will take the second line and, uh, connect it that is from second center to the third center and uh, similarly the third one and uh, on connect, joining all the three centers you will get a triangle and precisely this is an equilateral triangle all the three sides are same in this because you know here the radius is a two units whether it is centimeters or inches whatever two and two so that became four here four is the length of this side similarly the second one side is four and four all the three sides are equal hence it is an equilateral triangle and uh, you will know that this is uh, each angle is now how much 60 degrees so that information we have now okay from this point how can i get into this this space it's very easy once i have my equilateral triangle from that area of equilateral triangle if i can take off the areas of these sectors subtract the area of the first sector second and third so on subtracting the areas of these three sectors from the area of equilateral triangle you will get the area of this uh, shaded region okay now what is the formula for area of an equilateral triangle so now let us find the area of an equilateral triangle uh, what is the formula for area of a triangle let us say the side here the side of this triangle uh, is uh, a so all the three sides are a, a and e to find the area of a triangle i need the base that is half times base times height 
So area of any triangle is equal to half times the product of its base and height. It's a well-known fact. Now in this, we know the base is A, but uh, this uh, height, we don't know what is the height, so we have to figure out. So what is the height? Now let us say this is uh, approximately that half of the triangle I have here. Now in this triangle, we know that this is uh, hypotenuse that is A. Since it is a perpendicular height, we know that it is a right triangle. So that's why I said hypotenuse A. And uh, the leg here is uh, half of A because of this is A over 2 and that is also half of A. Now what is the height? That is the question. So using your Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square is equal to c square. That is the square on the hypotenuse equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. If you assume that this height is x, let me call it as x square plus this is the other leg b. Those are the two legs x and a over 2. So a divided to square plus uh, c square means you are see the hypotenuse here is a and I squared it. So x square plus a square over 4 is equal to a square. Then subtract that uh, a square over 4 on both sides. On subtraction we get x square is equal to this got cancelled 1 a square from 1 a square 1 fourth is taken away 1 minus 1 fourth of a square gives you 3 fourth 3 over 4 1 minus 1 fourth 3 fourth of a square okay now so x square is equal to 3 fourth of a square. We are looking for only x. So take the square root on both sides to get x is equal to square root of 3. It is not exact number. So leave it as root 3 over 4. Square root of 4 is 2 and a square so square root is a. Right. So x equal to root 3 over 2 times this a that's your height this is square root of 3 over 2 times a so my area of triangle here a is equal to half times the base the whole base is a times the height that is square root of 3 over 2 times a that is root 3 over 2 times a. That gives me area of this equilateral triangle is 1 half. The denominator one more half here and on numerator 3. Square root of 3 times 1 is root 3 over 4 times a square. So, this is the area of an equilateral triangle. Once you practice all this, you will easily remember you don't have to go through all. Let me show you two more methods of finding this uh, height and thereby you can find the area of equilateral triangle. Okay, let me take it up here. All right. This uh, triangle is nothing but what it is an a special triangle like here it is 90 degrees we know it's a part of equilateral that is 60 degrees and that is 30 degrees so 30 60 90 it is a special right triangle 30 degrees 60 90 degrees so in any triangle 
if the angles are in this ratio of 30 to 60 to 90 degrees then the corresponding sides will be in the ratio of uh, 1 is to root 3 is to 2. So that is the ratio of their corresponding sides. So for example, if the first side, the measure of the first side is x, the side opposite to 30 degrees is x units, the side opposite to 60 will be square root of 3 times x and the side opposite to 90 degrees which is the hypotenuse will be double this uh, short leg which is 2 times x that is 2x we have. This is how we compare the corresponding sides. Now we know two sides out of this leg already it is a here a is the side of uh, this equilateral triangle this is uh, half of uh, a we know so these two things are already known the opposite to 30 and the hypotenuse now the leftover thing is root 3 times the short leg so square root of 3 times the short leg is a over 2 that is nothing but root 3 over 2 times a so that's how you have the height here this is the height and you got the area of triangle now one more method is uh, let us make use of a trigonometry to find the height. So we have two sides of this uh, right triangle and looking for the third side right triangle. Since I have two sides and all the angles are known, in fact I can use any trigonometric ratios. The easiest way I think let me use a tangent. tangent of 60 degrees the formula for tan is what opposite that is the opposite and this adjacent side o over a so the opposite side is x and the adjacent side is a over 2 and uh, tan 60 is a square root of 3 the value of tangent 60 is root 3 is equal to x over a divided to or half of a. Now doing this uh, multiplication or solving it for x, you get x is equal to root 3 times a over 2 or numerical fact if I write root 3 over 2 times a. That is the same height we have in the first and second methods so follow any of these three process either the pythagorean theorem or the special right triangle or trigonometry find the height and after finding the height we got this uh, uh, area of an e equilateral triangle so why i'm telling here is once you have this process you don't have to worry about how did i get root 3 over 4 a square as the area of the triangle area of an equilateral triangle precisely so you can just write down this this uh, it will strike you because you have to just remember it we won't give you the formula so write it down area of an equilateral triangle root 3 over 4 times a square minus 3 times area of a sector so sector we know that sector is a part of a circle so what is the ratio here we take that is whatever angle theta you have to that angle over the complete angle is 360 degrees times area of the circle what is the formula for area of the circle that is pi r square so area of a sector is nothing but that fraction of a circle like this angle piece you have to remember other thing is area of sector i mean circle so now substitute the values let me do the actual part here square root of 3 over 4 times the a 
A is the side of this uh, equilateral triangle, 2 plus 2. That gives you 4, 4 squares. See, all the three sides are 2, so 2 plus 2, 4, 4, and 4. So, root 3 over 4 times A square minus 3 times that uh, central angle here, it is uh, 60 degrees over 360 degrees times pi times the radius is a what it is 2 so I write 2 square that is equal to root 3 times 16 over 4 minus 3 times this cancellation takes place 1 and 6 so 1 over 6 60 divided 61 time and then 6 times you know then times pi times 2 square is a 4 okay then next cancellation here 4 can divide 16 4 times so 4 times root 3 4 root 3 minus and uh, in the second part here 3 goes 1 times and 3 goes 2 times and this two in the denominator 1 time and that goes there 2 times okay so left with uh, 2 pi so 4 times the square root 3 minus 2 pi so many square units or unit square is the is your area of the shaded region this is your final answer because we are not using calculator here so this is the exact value 4 times root 3 minus 2 pi that is rounding of kind of thing cannot be done of course, square root of 3, we know it is 1.732, etc. And pi is 3.14, all that we don't need. We have to give the exact value because it is a 2-minute problem and uh, without using calculator, you are doing it. Okay. So now, what I suggest is, please try if they change the radius, like instead of 2 units, if they say that it is 1 unit is the radius or if it is 5 or is there any general formula to find the area of the shaded region so as you practice more and more of these problems you don't have to worry about number of steps here directly you can come up with your uh, i think this is step you can write out directly and also one more thing here because those are the three sectors adding those three sectors together in a circle when I take those three sectors like this is 60 degrees one more 60 degrees one more 60 approximately all together it makes 180 degrees so this area of three times the area of a sector is nothing but one half one half of the area of a circle so right you can just generalize and come up with your own way so please try to or generalize and uh, remember this process. Thank you.